Hey yo, and welcome to Gallum's Corner. Welcome back to my Thailand vlogs. Right, it is very early in the morning. The sun hasn't even come out yet, but I am awake. Um, spent last night in this jungle resort. I'm in a town called Can Canabori, Canchabori. I'm it's too early for pronunciations, but basically it's awesome. Um, but unfortunately, going very, very early this morning, got like 480 kilometers to travel. So back on the coach by 7 a.m. Right, let's go and have some breakfast and we can talk about more about where we're going and stuff. Get my mind in gear a bit. Right, I'm on my way, going to the breakfast hall. Can you hear the insects? Even like the first thing in the morning, they're really going on, aren't they? Like a wall of noise to match the wall of heat as you leave your place. I love it though. Wow. Tiny bit noisy. I have never heard insects this loud. This is crazy. Wow. Right, just took advantage of the omelette station. I bloody love an omelette station when I'm abroad. Um, yeah, very nice breakfast. This place is amazing. I'm not dotted that we only got here like yesterday. I wish we could have spent a bit more time here. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, right, I've got no time for sentiment. I need to get myself in gear, go grab my backpack, make sure my suitcase has been taken. Yeah, moving on. Just waiting for the bags to go on the coach. Ah, man. I want to come back to this place, incredible. <laughs> We're now turning the coach round because I have taken my hotel key with me. We've all got to go back and drop my key back. Not a good moment. Yeah, it was not a strong start to the day. I managed to inconvenience everyone. Luckily, they took it very well, and it kicked off several minutes of good-natured piss-taking on their behalf, during which my face performed all manner of gimpy and embarrassed little smiley dances. Anyway, eventually we sorted it out, and my embarrassment did dissipate like the farts that someone was pumping out into the couch during our journey journey and I managed to just focus on the scenery going by. I was fair excited at this point uh, after the visceral raw natural beauty of the Stanaluk, I could not wait to see more of what Thailand had to offer. So coach has just pulled in for a break, I've been driving for about two hours now, chance for us to go to the loo, grab some coffee and stuff. I haven't got as far as we're meant to have because of my actions, leaving my bloody key in my pocket. Luckily everyone was nice as pie, just laughing at me and stuff, but a bit embarrassing, a bit embarrassing. It's all this early morning in. It's, actually, I'm alright in the morning normally. It's, it's having to leave in the early morning again and again and again. I feel like I'm forgetting everything, do you know what I mean? I feel like I should have loads of time, I know what time I'm leaving, but then as it gets to the time to check out, it just moves into fast forward. Anyway, 7 Eleven, let's grab some water. So, we've just arrived somewhere where they are roasting rats. Uh, apparently, it's 100% rice fed rats. These things infest the crops and they eat them. Um, he said we can go and try it, but we've got a smile while we're eating it. Don't show disgust. I'd be up for trying it, but I definitely would rage. I don't want to offend them. Let's go and have a look anyway. Roasting rats. I mean, I'd have a go if it wasn't medium rare, but I prefer my rat well done myself. I probably, I probably would try it. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, good. Yeah. Look at his head. Alright, does it stay down there? Don't jump up. Well, we've just arrived at a temple to have a look round. To be honest, the temple on the first day left me a bit cold. It was all a bit bling bling without the, the shiny nose and it felt like just a massive tourist trap. This looks a bit more like it. Look at that behind me. Proper old and interesting. Let's go and have a look. This place is amazing. It's got a really nice kind of calm atmosphere. I mean, it's baking. I am literally melting. Sweaty bloody Betty. But it's amazing. Really peaceful. 
Oh, I thought this was going to be a river down here. I saw little bridges. Maybe it is in the rainy season or something. Oh, look, there is. There's water. I knew I could trust my instincts. I'm at one with water almost. Would have made a good merman. Oh, it's tempting, isn't it? Imagine being a merman, the superpowers and stuff. But you are never going to have full penetrative sex, are you, if you're a merman? Because mermaids don't have fannies. And they would be a loss. We've got another one of these uh, little selfie hotspots. Remember at the Taj Mahal, the Diana seat? Everyone was kicking off, tourists getting a bit aggro with each other. Another one here, just in front of that Buddha's head. I've waited longer, no, I've waited longer. It's nice to get a selfie in front of these lovely things, but I've, it's not for me. It's not for me. I found it so painful in India with everyone watching me. I'm just here hoping that we might get a little bit of a, a bit of a kickoff. Right, following on from yesterday's dinner in one of the most amazing places that I've ever been, we've now stopped in at what I thought was like a service station next to the road, uh, and it turns out that this is now a contender for it. Look at the garden here. This is a little bit different to the Burger King in the service stations we get in England, isn't it? Incredible. I'll turn you around and show you a bit more. It just looks just incredible. Lovely little setting. Unfortunately, at this point of our journey, one of the people started to become very unwell. I felt absolutely terrible for them and also a little bit for everyone else because it did make the inside of the coach smell a little bit like, um, well, the inside of a can of ham. You know, when you open them and they fart in your face, it was an unpleasant environment. Right, we stopped at a service station to let everyone grab a coffee and to let that poor bloke go into the bathroom. He'd been sick into bags and stuff on the couch. It's awful for him. I feel terrible for him. Can you imagine it being on a tour and suddenly you're sick and all you can do is sit there on this boiling hot couch with 40 degree sun pounding you through the window. And you must be horrifically embarrassed just puking into a bag and stuff. And I'm worried. You know, like, hopefully it's like, it's just a reaction to the heat or something, because if it's a bug, like, I'm smelling farts on there, and you know, I'm not saying it's definitely him, it could be any of us, we've all stopped for lunch, I'm sure we've all, you know, pumped a little thing into the sponge, I have myself, it's just natural, but these were noxious smelling, obnoxious smelling, you know, that worries me, poo particles, when you fart, they come out and they go up people's noses, into their mouths and stuff, it's called the oral fecal rent, it's how sink it spreads so quickly. I don't want to see poops particles going up my nose. I don't want that to be me tomorrow. Oh, poor bloody blow. Ah, uh, you bugger, it's stopped now. I just got some cash out. And the cash machine, as it gave my money, he started playing me a little song. Cheer you up a little bit. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I like that. The final part of the journey was very intense. I was so glad I had my headphones to block out the sounds. Right, we just got to the hotel. That has been the hardest day so far in terms of traveling. A proper full on day, just on the coach, on the coach, and the poor bloke being ill as well. That certainly didn't make you go quicker. But I'm here in Fistaluk or something. Not sure how you pronounce it, but yeah, this is it. Uh, very, very brief tour of this hotel room. It's bog standard um, compared to the other ones. And also, I booked a bloody excursion this evening to go out on like a tuk tuk tour and then on a dinner on a floating thing. So I haven't got long to shower and get ready. So brief tour. All right, let me turn you around. Let me turn you around. Is a door where you come in. Uh, as you come in, let's pretend we are. Walk, walk, walk. There we go. That is the bathroom. Um, it's nice, it looks quite grand actually, lots of marble, there I am, hey up, uh, this is my bath, shower, toilet, is that a sick bag? No, it's probably for ladies like, sanitary products isn't it? And this is the room, yeah, two single beds, not going to complain about that, oh decently comfy mattress, TV from about seven years ago. And then a view of a really large building that I don't know what it is. Some kind of warehouse or market or something. Yeah, this is it. We're only here to go in again at six o'clock tomorrow morning. So we're only here for the briefest bloody time. 
Um, oh my god, there's a swimming pool. Now I don't want to go out on the outing. Now I don't want to go out on the outing because if I go, I won't be back here till nine, ten o'clock, and the pool's going to be closed. That does look stunning. Oh, pool of bloody bait. It's a tough choice now. Now I've paid for it. I've paid for it. It cost me thirty something quid. I'm going on the tuk tuk tour. I just have to swim in the next place. We're the next place. We're there for two nights, so at least I should get a chance to. Yeah, okay, right, I'm gonna get myself ready. Right, I should be having a shower and getting ready to go out. We're going in literally half an hour, but I couldn't resist a quick peek on the streets of where we are. I'd just like to have a look round and kind of get a sense of a place. It's really hard when you get in at like 6.30 and then you got to go straight out again and you're off again at 6 in the morning. I literally won't see it in daylight if I don't have a look now. It's been dead interesting. It feels a lot more local uh, than Bangkok did, that's for sure. The obligatory massage places. There's all of the dispensaries there. They've got it all, haven't they? They've got it all, and I'm pretty sure I'll see a 7 Eleven in a few footsteps. Well, not yet, but I'm pretty sure I will. Time, old Thailand. Uh, let me turn you around so you can see as well. Yeah, look at this. Dead, dead nice, isn't it? Really pleasant not quite as oppressively hot as it was in Bangkok either. I mean, it's hot, don't get me wrong. I feel like I'm melting, but not quite as melting as I was in the Bangkok. After I showered and changed, we jumped in some tuk-tuks for a pre-dinner look round the market. Here we go, look at this. Insects. So everywhere in this city, then we have a shot of the insect rising. Look at the way of the... Oh, look at the grubs. Everyone's just munching on the bugs like they're starving. That's a tourist I always thought the whole, you know, that whole where the future's going thing, you'll have nothing, you'll be happy, we're all going to be scoffing with insects. I thought... No, people will revolt before we get to that. No one's going to stand for that. No one's going to stand for not having anything and eating insects, but apparently not. All it takes is coming to Thailand and having a couple of drinks and people will have these good insects. In fact, it's probably not even that. All it takes is the, the, the merest sniff, the merest possibility of um, filming it and sticking it on social media, I would say. Yeah. If you want people to eat bogs, just give them a phone, give them a plate of bogs and access to Facebook and then I think they do it quite happily. Okay. I'm going to consume their first bog. <laughs> oh. <coughs> One wheel and two wheels. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the summer? Yeah. I have a to you. <clears throat> What's that? What is that? That's not my cup of tea. I'm a bit worried about that whole box of them I got now. I've just spotted this, I've seen it on TikTok and YouTube shorts a million times, I've got to grab one. Here we go. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, they eat them. They eat them. I get the feeling there's not an awful lot that they don't eat. After my pathetic failed attempt to consume a mealworm, we jumped back into the tuk-tuks to head for dinner. I was feeling hungry at this point. I barely had a quarter of a mealworm. Unfortunately, I didn't realise that dinner on a river would be almost entirely fish-based. Right, insects have been consumed, tuk-tuk tour has been had, and we're now here for dinner. Let me show you this. Wow. Of you for dinner. Right, I'm having a bit of a situation. Um, just got back from the dinner and stuff, and I forgot what room I'm in, which I know sounds crazy. Um, 
I've just been trying to get in to a 1125, which was what I thought was my room, but it's apparently not because it won't let me in. But I don't really understand because I've got two key cards, so I was thinking one of them wasn't working, but neither are letting me in. Maybe I'm on 10, 2, 5. It's because I've been to three different hotels in the last three nights, and also they really remind me some of them of the India hotels. So it's like, which, where am I? Oh, this is massively embarrassing. Don't say it on the key card either, do you know what I mean? There's nothing on there about what room you're in. I've left a little cardboard thing in the room. Jesus. Wandering around a random Sri Lankan. No, in Sri Lanka. Random Thailand hotel. The only bloody room is mine. I need to get some proper sleep tonight. I really do. No, that's 10.21. That's not even 10.25. Why would I... Just useless. This is my room. This is my room. Christ. Well, that was a good thought, wasn't it? Anyway. I'm back in my room. I'm back in my room. I'm going to go to bed, I think. No, I'm not. I'm going to go and have one beer. There's a few of the guys in the tour down there. I'm going to go and have one beer. Help me sleep a bit. And then I'm going to go to bed. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right, it is nearly 6am in the morning and I am shortly about to leave. Um, I've spent the last day in Fistanaloo. That's probably not even close to how you pronounce it, but that's where I've been. And to be fair, I'm quite happy to be moving on. Um, not that it's not a nice place. It's just that my personal experience hasn't been tip top. Um, last night, I went on like a, an extra outing where I went like on a tuk tuk tour in a little town and then down to this nighttime market which was all good but included in that was a dinner on this raft which i was really excited about and it looked amazing when we got there but then it was all seafood i don't eat fish i don't trust anything that doesn't breathe oxygen through a nose it would be like eating an alien so i just didn't eat um i've just been down for breakfast and i barely ate there either it's been the the worst selection for the breakfast even the omelet wasn't properly cooked so i'm very very hungry um also had a bit of a strange experience in the middle of the night last night so um at the moment for some reason i'm waking up every hour or so and i'm like oh what time is it what time do i need to go have i got to be packed have i got to be moving um and i went for a wee when i woke up it was probably about 2 a.m so here i come i come in for a wee i get to about here and um a lizard was on my ceiling and it's obviously shocked by me and it's just dropped down to the floor um, but it dropped with a splat. It literally made a noise, splat, as it went down. And I was really shocked, obviously. I'd just woken up and stuff at first. I thought it was a giant spider. And I, I started talking to it for some reason. Like, oh, God, are you all right, mate? What's going on there? Are you dead now? Um, and he wasn't dead. He was just really, really shocked. So in the end, I just turned around and walked out. Um, came back in this morning. And he scuttled away somewhere else. But, yeah, that was an experience of splatting a lizard onto the floor in the middle of the bloody night anyway i'm waffling on just getting it off my chest i better get downstairs our boss is going to go soon um today is a massive day of traveling we're going up to chiang mai chiang mai i don't know how you pronounce it but it's meant to be lovely uh, and to get there we have to drive through this national park over around mountains and stuff apparently so hopefully i can get some good footage um, and then once we get there, we are there for a couple of days. The last couple of places I've been, we've been getting in at like six, seven o'clock at night. And you've got to go again at six o'clock the next morning. It'd be really nice to be somewhere for, for a couple of nights so I can bring back my suitcase and go off and do a bit of solo exploring again. Yeah, looking forward to it. Right, I'm hungry. That's the takeaway from this and I need to get moving. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've totally forgotten about this bit. Um, we're stopping on the way to go and have a temple tour, but we're doing it on a bike, um, which I think is quite a good opportunity for me to go um, full on twat now and just stick the GoPro to my chest. So let's give that a try. Joy! Here we bloody go. Here we go. 
Oh, get him some pace now. Oh wow, look at how cool they are. I want to drive one of them. Well, you can keep going. You can do some manoeuvres now. Look at this, bloody lovely. Oh, bike is definitely the way to do it. This is so much better than walking. Can you take my I think I might be the best on a bike here. It must have been about 10 years since I've been on one, but I've lost none of my skill. High skill manoeuvres. Skid. Oh, yes. <laughs> Someone else has gone full twat mode like me there. Just looking at this standing Buddha, it's incredible. Look at the size of his hands. Guessing Mrs. Buddha was a very happy woman. Mm. I've just been overtaken. I don't think we can let that stand here, can we? Competitive spirits kicking in. Gonna take the corner wide. <laughs> Not having that, Jay. <laughs> Stop standing, Jay. Be careful, after a thoroughly brilliant morning of competitive bike riding round the temple, we boarded the coach again and set upon our journey. I was once again taken aback by Thailand's beating vitality. Its natural beauty was incredible. And I popped on my headphones and reclaimed an old song. Green, green grass, blue, blue sky. I listened to it in wonder and there was no aged, silver-haired, over-filtered paedophiles dancing around in sight. It felt like nature and my own soul were being healed. Right, we're about 300 miles into the journey. It's very long. Um, however, we stopped for coffee at this special place where they make the coffee from cat's poo. So we're waiting for the cat's poo coffee. It's not coffee made from cat's poo. Apparently, I don't know, they're like force feed coffee beans to cats. Something like that. The cats eat the coffee beans and then they poop them back out again. And then they make coffee for me. I think I've actually tried it once before. One of my mates made me do it. He had some or something. Apparently it's like dead, dead expensive. Which kind of makes sense, isn't it? If you've got to pick, pick the beans, each one out of poo. You know, someone's going to want money for that, aren't they? Anyway, we're trying it. Not being on a long list of line that I've tried this week. We don't want to go too far because we've got to be there for five o'clock. So pretty though. Just stunning. Oh, it's one of the big easiest on my tour. Lovely old guy. He was the poor guy who was ill yesterday. I nice to see him up and around again. I'm going to go chat to him. We're just about to consume our cat's poo coffee. Nice to see it's a frothy variety. Um, and what do you uh, what do you accompany cat's poo coffee with? Beautiful coffee. Oh. Right, here we go. Coffee with a hint of cat's anus. Let's give it a go. Yeah, just tastes like coffee. You can barely taste the arse at all. After consumption of the frothy cat bomb coffee, we jump back onto the coach for the final leg of that day's travelling. 
Once again, I was taken aback by the sheer stunning beauty of Thailand. She was like a, an eager, virile lover who just continually wants to please you. And we're not talking about some unattractive lass who was left behind in the nightclub and is just grateful for the attention so she's eager to please. Thailand is a stunner, she's absolutely gorgeous. The sunset I was looking at, even now on video, just ignites me with sheer pleasure. In that moment, on the coach, I would have rather looked at that beautiful ball of red light in the sky than any whispering eye. Hey, we're finally here. That was a long day's travelling. Bloody hell, 400 odd miles. What number am I? 906, 904. I think it's a bit further down. 905, yeah. Oh, you're literally going to see the room with me. I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to have my first sight of it at the same time as you, which is nice, isn't it? Very exciting evening. Lined up tonight as well. Need it after all that travelling. How do I put this in? Where did I go? Oh, you just don't shit. Right, let me turn you around. Oh, stick the old key in the door. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. This is nice. So, got the old cupboardage. Is he going? Hopefully there's a safe here. I want in that last place. I hate having to take my passport out with me robes. Ooh, I love a robe. Just feels classy, doesn't it? What are you doing? Oh, just chilling in my robe, my hotel robe. Yes, yeah, a safe. Oh, thank God. I'll tell you why that's good later. Ah, fridge, not beginning this time. That's fine. Don't need uh, room service. Dead, dead expenses. It's not room service, is it? I don't know what it's called, but you know, you get the drink mini bar. Oh, this is nice. I think it's a decent telly. That's modern, that is. Um, laundry bag. Ah, I might put some t shirts in to get washed. Um, let's let zoom out a bit. There we go. Hey, look, that's a lovely bed, isn't it? King size. King size. Oh, you can even buy the bathrobes and stuff. Very nice. Right, we've got a bit of a viewage. Oh, I like that. It's only a rose, but I like it all lit up at night. That looks nice. There was a door and a balcony for a second. That would have been amazing. None of the places have had balconies actually here. Yeah. Take those headphones off. There I am. Hey up. They say, oh, it's a classy sink. You know it's a classy place when it's got a rectangular sink rather than an oval or a circular one. There's me again, hey up. Um, oh, I'm everywhere. Every bloody where. Oh, a walking shower, well like that. I like that a lot. You've got the old rainfall one and uh, for more targeted high pressure washing, you know, anus and soft crevices, you've got the little handheld one. Lovely, bloody jolly. Right, let's turn you around again. Yeah, so I'm very happy about having a safe because uh, you've got a big evening planned, even though we've got in at bloody 6.30 and I've been travelling all day. I'm just going to push myself. Every part of me wants to just kind of have a swim or a shower and slide into bed. But I'm not going to do that. How often are you in Thailand? So, um, there's an excursion tonight to the night market. Uh, and the guide was saying to everyone, oh, this is where all those shows are, you know, lady boys. Um, and those are people from the tour group want to go and experience it. They all want to go see it for the first time, which surprised me. Because they're all, in, well, not all of them, but some of them are at least 10, 15 years older than me. Uh, but they're... They want to experience it. So I'm going to go along, going to see the night market. And as so many of you requested, I am going to review a, a ladyboy show. So yeah, loads to look forward to. Um, but yeah, very pleased I can just leave my passport here and not have to worry about it after having a couple of drinks and stuff. Right, I'm going to go find my suitcase. I'm going to jump in the shower and get ready for tonight. I'll see you in a bit. Right, I am obviously committed to going out this evening, but I thought I'd just pop out and check out what the swimming pool was like. Um, it's open till nine, so I would have been able to swim if I stayed here. It's lovely. It's absolutely incredible. It's like a lagoon. Let me turn you around. Look at that, man. I want to jump in there right now. That's so beautiful. But it's okay, because we're all day tomorrow as well, so I can use it. And tomorrow night. Yeah. I'm happy with my decision. I'm going out, but I've got that to look forward to tomorrow. Hotel looks dead, dead nice. Look at all of that. 
Lovely. On the way to the night market. We're overtaking everyone. that we might be taking in a show tonight. I, um, I wore my North Face t-shirt that's got a little pride rainbow on. Just so they know I'm okay with it. Right, Tuk Tuk Racing is finished. That was dead good fun. We are now at the night market. Right, the, um, the Lady Boy show isn't started yet, so just having a look round. Come round here, because there is apparently, yeah, here we go, a cafe with over 70 cats in. It's a cat cafe. Thank you. Cats. Not so often. It's um, a and Does it look nice eh? Yeah. Yeah, what's that for? Take the photo. Well, the show is happening. It's a bit different to what I thought it was going to be, but it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but I thought it would be like they'd be stripping and stuff. It's actually better this way, for me at least. Right, I'm just back at my hotel. It looks lovely all lit up. There's these little colourful lanterns in the trees and stuff. Hey, it's been an awesome day. I love the, um, the bike ride around the temple this morning. Fair brought out my competitive spirit. Um, really enjoyed the tuk-tuk racing as well. And then the, having dinner there and looking around Chiang Rai. Really good fun. Um, the Lady Boy show wasn't what I was expecting. It was all like traditional kind of dancing and stuff but apparently Chiang Mai where we're going in a couple of days is a whole different story uh, that is where where I'm going to be viewing a, um, a ping pong show as requested by the legend that is Shabba um, so I'm sure I will see some more kind of action there in terms of lady boys and shows and stuff that you seem to want me to go to it's meant to be all kicking off in Chiang Mai so I'm looking forward to it Anyway, I'm going to head in and go to bed now. It's not a massively early start tomorrow. We're off out at 8 o'clock in the morning. So, tiny bit of a sleep in. I'm thinking we get up early and go and use that swimming pool. Right, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs>